Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The HLFT-42 or Hindustan Lead in Fighter Trainer 42 program has been quite in news recently with little to no update about the aircraft. Now recently in the investor meet of HL few interesting details have been discussed about this aircraft which we'll be discussing in detail today. The details of this aircraft were revealed when the questions was asked for the need of HLFT-42 when HL already has the Hawk program. Now recently we have also made detailed video on Hawkeye also known as Combat Hawk program of HL. Now if you look at the present domestic as well as international market there is a huge requirement of AJT that is Advanced Trainer Jet which is used in the final phase of a fighter pilot's training. Now, India has been pitching for sale of LCA Tejas trainer version for such requirement to countries like Egypt, Malaysia, etc. But the LCA Tejas is not only a trainer, a full combat ready aircraft, which makes it a costly proposition in international market. Therefore, it does make sense to develop a low cost AGT which could be competitive in the international market. At present, HAL has H3040 as basic trainer and IJT Sitara under development as IJT or we call it intermediate jet trainer. The HLFT42 will add AGT that is advanced jet trainer to the HAL's portfolio. Now this will complete the HAL's portfolio and it will have all three trainer aircraft offerings required for fighter pilots training. Now talking about details of this aircraft, HL has revealed that it is going to be all metal aircraft and will not have full fly-by-wire control system which means that aircraft will have power assisted controls. The trainer most likely will not have delta wing design as with other trainers and will have swept wing design. Therefore the full fly-by-wire control will not be needed. In delta wing aircrafts which are very unstable and designed for maneuverability, the full fly-by-wire is needed. Now this aircraft is going to be designed especially as a trainer rather than a fighter aircraft. So it will have virtual training modes. The aircraft will be able to simulate any fighter jet such as Mirage, Rafale, Su-30, MKI etc. The aircraft will have higher speed as well to give physical feel of speed to the trainee pilots. It will feature virtual mode of all displays, weapons delivery, everything which it can simulate. The aircraft will have all indigenous system including display systems, flight controls except for the engine. Now if HL is able to successfully develop HTFA25 engine, even this can be indigenous. The high indigenous content and the maintainability of this aircraft will be much superior compared to the other aircrafts. Now much of the design treaties of the aircraft is yet not revealed. However, I think this will be built similar to BAE Hawk Trainer Jet featuring two-seat trainer with a tandem cockpit, a low-mounted cantilever wing and powered by a single turbofan engine. The aircraft may not have supersonic speed but will be very close to it, possibly in the range of 0.8 to 0.9 Mach in order to give pilots the transonic flight experience before they move on to a supersonic fighter. In summary, HL is developing a full-fledged, low-cost, advanced trainer jet which could fulfill the domestic demands and also compete in the international market. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.